Eagle Prime packs a punch. We designed it to be able to control the battlefield so each arm can pick up a 2,500 pound car or punch through gigantic obstacles. But we've realized during fights, arm speed matters more than strength. The arms of this robot are designed to move exactly like a human arm, all while delivering power to crazy modular weapons. The way we deliver that power to the arms is by giant loops of hydraulic hoses that are on the outside of the robot. These are a huge weak point and liability. So we're teaming up with a bunch of partners to work together, design a new type of arm that's faster and protects all of the hoses and wires inside the structure of the arm. The hoses and wires were our toughest constraint to deal with. We ran them through the middle of a giant hollow U-joint, which gave us two out of our three degrees of freedom. The third degree of freedom comes from a motor-driven shoulder pitch joint for fast punching action. We designed the robot's kinematics in 2D sketches and then designed the whole arm in 3D in Autodesk Fusion 360. One of the biggest challenges of a robotic arm like this is getting hoses and wires through rotating joints. We worked with DSTI to design a custom hollow hydraulic rotary union. That's like a slip ring for hydraulic fluid. It allows us to redirect hoses from the shoulder down the arm all while moving the arm at top speed. Once we figured out how the hoses and wires were going to bend and follow the arm, we needed high torque, accurate actuators that could fit into a tight space. Our partner Helac custom designed rotary actuators for us that fit under the shoulder and let us move the new arm through a wide range of motion. Before sending parts out for fabrication, we did some finite element analysis and optimized our design. We designed and engineered the entire project in Fusion 360, and it let us share our CAD models directly with our fabricators so they could see what we're doing in real time. We've never been able to do that before. I'm a fabricator on this project. I'm doing most of the fit up and welding. I use a few assembly drawings to fit up the laser cut pieces into the full weldment, and then I use the app to uh, check my work, see the big picture, and help me assemble everything without needing stacks and stacks of assembly drawings. Megabots sent me over the file through Fusion, brought it in, looked at uh, what tooling I need and uh, material, ordered in uh, the custom sized piece of material we need for this project, I worked with AB and Helical as well as Lakeshore on tooling for uh, machining it. So we got all that dialed in on the computer, the cam side, loaded it in the machine, ran the part, turned out great. Back here at Megabot's headquarters, we took the weldments, we took the spider and a bunch of parts, and we assembled this test arm. Uh, once we were mechanically assembled, we got into our Parker on-site container and built up custom hydraulic hoses to hose the rotary union and to hose all of these parts. And now we're ready to test. Even on the test stand, the new arm is fast and agile. The new HELAC actuators position the arm and our motor-driven punching action is way faster than our old heavy lift arms. The rotary union lets us direct hoses down the middle of our upper arm, which keeps them protected during battle. This project has been a huge success. Using rotary unions, new custom actuators, on-site hose fabrication, and a whole new design program, we've been able to redesign our arms for armored high-speed punching. Thanks to Autodesk, DSTI, Parker Hannafin, and Helac for making this possible.